Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your school. I'll be your new teacher as your old teacher has sadly moved on in his life. He's not dead, don't worry. He just moved on to a different job. It was too hard for him after the Frontiers event happened. I'm your new doctor, or your new teacher, Dr. Redfield. I hope you guys can understand that this is a very tragic accident that happened last year. And I will do everything I can to make sure nothing happens to you guys. You're safe and sound here. Hey, kids, kids, settle down. We got a new kid in the class. I would like you to welcome him. Don't bully them like you did the last student. It's because he had one freckle on his forehead. Welcome, Roger Redfield. Oh, I know. I'm his son, but it doesn't matter. Went to private school, and now I'm here, so better not give me any crap, okay? I'm new, so don't give me crap. I have a question. How does it feel to have a snot type of dad like you have? Uh, you must be the school bully. Tyler. Well, Tyler. I have to show you some respect. But first, I'm going to teach you a lesson of my own. Not many people survive that lesson. And what may that lesson be? Come on, talk, red-filled farthead. Well, if you may ask... It's something I should have done to you a long time ago. You don't recognize me, do you? Well, you're about to know now. Evil is the definition of something that is far worse than your imagination and what some boys and girls have to go through. In this town, describes it all. And the horror they have to witness is even worse. Known as the Frontier. Don't, don't forget to study page 552 of your science book. We'll have a test on that tomorrow. I need to talk to you, Redfield. No, 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 no. I'm not listening to you, Dad. You know I saved your ass many times. Now is not going to be a time I'm going to forget about it. Look, you need to know something. First of all, don't curse. This is not like private school. Second of all, don't put your head in somewhere where it doesn't belong. And I'm talking about Tyler. He's a bully. The frontier really messed up his head. And you're not gonna get him to listen to you, trust me. If Dwayne Rock Johnson slamming him hit, slamming his head into a locker ain't gonna do nothing you either. Dad, you don't realize something like I do. Tyler is some of that person that could be working for the frontiers, and if that's the case, we're all in great danger. Do you really want to see your great demise over the hands of some kid that might have control? over the frontiers. You know, Tyler, Tyler was a big person in this world, and he's gonna be a big person when this world goes down. He might be the reason behind it all. How can I disagree with you? Tyler has been acting kind of weird, but that's not something I'm going to put my only son up for the challenge of sacrificing his own life for. If anything, I'll do it with you, but we can't do it now in front of everybody. Right, his room's B209. When we get up to the room, we'll look around there because I do have to search through everybody's rooms at one day. And I have it because I've had a stomach ache from McDonald's. But now I've made an excuse to finally go up there. But if something goes wrong, son, you gotta promise me one thing. You won't look back. Oh, Dad, that's not what's gonna happen. All right? I'm not gonna let you sacrifice your own life and, and me to pick up the mess, pick up the pieces of you. I'm not doing that. We're a family. Families don't leave each other out to die in the middle of a crisis like what's going on now with the Frontiers. I promise you, Dad, you're the one and only person I can save, and that will be my objective, and I will not fail it. Because I couldn't save Mom, but I will save you. Bro, what are you gonna do about, uh, 
that Redfield dude now. She could cut him being a douchebag to you. Are you just gonna let him be that way to you? Ah, no, no, no. I got stuff to up my sleeves. Trust me. They don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. All I know is there's someone that's part of the Frontiers that I need to eliminate. I'm here so I can eliminate everybody that's against the Frontiers. The Frontiers is what we are, are here to do. We're to eliminate the human population and make up our own. That's right. Eliminate everybody that's part of this town and make up our own people with their same DNA. It might be the lemon juice or the Taco Bell we're talking, but my stomach kind of hurts over the fact you think you're going to eliminate all of us. I mean, I'm not even part of the... the Frontiers. See, that's the problem with these type of guys. Look at him. Look at... look at... Wherever his name is, I'm new here too. But if I had to come in here and say something, I gotta say, he's kind of a weirdo. Heck are you? First of all, start talking before I knock some sense into you next. Be so offensive, my name's Christopher. I'm new here. I heard you're joking for that Redfield kid. Of course, trust me, I've got some grid things to tell you about him. Sir, he might just be able to put him behind bars for a few years. Alright, I like this kid. Start talking. Look, I don't know if we can trust him. I don't know. Fine. I'll introduce myself voice once. My name is Tyler. My name is Christopher. And I know his name because, well, I just know my things and I know his name's Fred. Look here, Christopher, don't you ever talk about my name again. Don't talk about me and don't look at me anymore. We're done. Understand? You know who you're talking about. Who the heck's Fred to begin with? Hey, 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 what's going on here? What's going on? You ask him. He said enough already. Just ask him. I'm pretty sure I can not shut him up. Hey, start talking. What is Fred ha anything to do with you? What, why did you make him mad? If you knew him, which I don't understand how you do, tell me the truth. And I don't want to see. It. I don't want to hear it coming from him. Better off, you tell me. Oh, if you have to know, do it. Me and him are brothers from different mothers. Gosh, why didn't he not tell me? Hey, if you knew our history, you'd know we don't like to tell anybody anything about ourselves. We have dark history and dark secrets you don't want to even know anything about. And just so you know, it's less, it's better left in the dark than in light. Not things, because let me just say what we would tell you. You would not be able to be sitting here, standing here, talking to any of us. Look, I want to help you guys out. I want to help out that stupid Redfield guy, all right? All I want to do is help you guys out. Sign up for whatever threat it may come with it. Well, do you know his science teacher? Dr. Redfield? Yeah, he's also my dumb science teacher that I share with that dumb Redfield guy. I'm not sure you're going to hate him after you find out what's wrong with his dad. Because let's just say this is something far worse than you'd ever imagine. I think I... What? What could there possibly be that make me hate his son a little bit less? The truth he's keeping from his son within his heart. What do you mean, the truth within, within his heart? Let me just say this. The sworn enemy that killed his mom. Let's just say his dad's behind it. His dad, I'm a pointer, is the actual reason the Frontiers exists. What you're trying to say is... We are fighting a war that's caused by our science teacher that is a person that's against it. So really, he's just keeping the secret from us, which means not only are we in danger, his son's in danger. And that this is a fight we might not make out a lot. Look, what you don't understand about this is it's not fun and games. What he has actually put us on this road to do, who was not only yeah, to clean up the mess, that's the Gerge clue, but was to kill us in the, the process of it all. That means that we're going to be the next ones. <laughs>